In this video, we're going to talk about how to analyze the ACT math practice test that you take to make the most of each practice test that you take and to identify areas you want to work on and improve them for the next practice test that you take. For the ACT math test, there are five steps to analyzing your practice tests, which will include breaking the math test into three sections to analyze. Step one, click on and print the analyzing your ACT math practice test worksheet, which you can find a link to below. Step two, count up the total number of questions that you missed and subtract this number from 60 and write your raw score in the blank labeled raw score. Step three, use the score chart for the practice test that you're using to convert your raw score to a scale score. To use the score chart, first find the column labeled math, second look vertically in the math column to find your raw score, third look horizontally to find the scale score that corresponds to your raw score. Now write down your scale score in the blank labeled scale score. This is the ACT score that you would have gotten for the ACT math section. Now what we're going to do is help you break down your score to find out areas you can work on and improve in for the next time. Step 4. Divide the math test into three sections, questions 1 through 20, questions 21 through 40, and questions 41 through 60. Now count up how many questions you missed for each of these three sections and write down your score out of 20 for each of these three sections. The purpose of doing this is that the math test generally goes from easier to harder, so you can now see where you are missing the most number of questions. It's normal for students to miss more questions for the last 20 questions, but if you're missing a good number of questions for the first 20 questions, this will be something to look into. Use this step to figure out if you need to change your strategy for the earlier or later part of the math test. Step 5. For each question that you missed, label it as should have gotten correct or need to review this concept. For the questions that you marked as should have gotten correct, add these questions to your raw score to see what your scale score would have been if you had not made these unnecessary mistakes. For the questions that you marked as need to review this concept, use the answer explanation to figure out the concept that the question covers and write down the name of this concept to study it so that you will not miss it again in the future. By following these five steps, you'll be able to analyze each ACT math test that you take effectively to differentiate between mistakes you shouldn't have made and concepts that you can work on to improve your score for the next time. Now, after you take an ACT math practice test, follow these steps to effectively analyze your math practice test.